Okay, so here is the secret to selling on eBay. Are you ready? What's up guys, it is Monday morning and I had a lot of sales over the weekend. So we got a lot of stuff to pack up and ship out that sold on eBay. Let's get to work. All right, first thing is a dog training collar. This is part of that bulk buy I just made. So I only have a couple bucks into this. Uh, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. In that same bin is this telephone. I didn't know what this was. Uh, I was told this was a butt phone, uh, basically for you know testing lines and stuff. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold some more DVDs. I'm just about sold through these. Uh, Midsummer Murders. I got 14 sets of these for $2 each at a church sale. About three weeks ago, this set sold for $10.99, free shipping. Sold the pylons that I just got from that bulk buy. These are University of Kentucky pylons. I thought these were really cool. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Sold a VHS tape. Skinner. I picked this up for 50 cents at a garage sale. Sold for $12.99, free shipping. If you guys have never sold VHS tapes, it seems like horror movies do pretty good. Uh, some of them go for big money. So if you're at a garage sale and you see VHS tapes, just kind of, you know, look through them real quick. Okay, also in E6, I sold two of these beer tap handles to two different people. These are part of that Louisville buy, so I don't have much into these. Each one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I sold a game right here in C4. Here we go. I spy Eagle Eye. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer bought a diecast car. This is a Tony Stewart, oh, I'm sorry, Kevin Harvick. This is a Kevin Harvick car. I sent a best offer out for $18 plus shipping and they accepted. Both of those are going to have to be named Colin. He says, found your eBay after watching your YouTube channel. Love the channel, love the products. Buying this for my daughter for Christmas. Thanks. Colin, thanks for the support and I hope she likes the game. Sold a baseball pinball game. I got this a couple months ago. This is from the guy's house that had just a humongous collection of stuff. I picked this up for five bucks. It sold for $18.99 plus shipping. I sold this Kenwood receiver. I got this at a garage sale maybe three weeks ago. I paid $4 for it, tested it out, worked perfectly. It sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is kind of weird. I got this at a garage sale. I think maybe two months ago I paid five bucks for it and the guy even had new batteries in it and everything so it definitely worked this is a redneck plunger if you need to plunge your toilet you just pull the trigger <laughs> yeah pretty crazy uh, this sold for $34.99 plus shipping so a card game this is an expansion pack for saboteur this was in that barnes and noble stuff um, that i pulled out of their trash this sold for 9.99 free shipping i sold the very last piece of that tricycle that i had i parted it out and this is the very last one i had this listed for like 25 or best offer i sent out a best offer of 18 dollars plus shipping and they accepted that's the first time i've really parted out a bicycle like that but it worked out really well i ended up making like 250 bucks by parting it out. All right, next is some Pez dispensers. These are Star Trek Pez dispensers. I picked these up for a couple bucks. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And they're going out to a viewer named James. James, thanks for the business, man. It means a lot. Okay, next is a beret. I got this at a garage sale for a couple dollars. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Just pulling one thing out of storage that sold. This is a vintage Gap denim shirt. It was a book buy I made maybe two months ago, so I don't have much into this. Uh, I took a best offer of $14, free shipping. I got a question via email that I wanted to answer. This is from Paul. He says, I am a small time eBay seller. I usually gross about $1,000 a month, but I have a good return. The problem I'm having is I only seem to sell if I list about four to five items a day. If I don't do this, I won't really sell anything. I have a little over 400 items and would like to have less and don't really feel like sourcing more. Is there anything I can do to trick the system instead of listing? I've tried editing 4% of my listings a day, running sales, and I don't like the cancel and sell similar. Is there anything I can do besides listing every day? Thanks, great videos by the way. Okay, so here is the secret to 
selling on eBay. Are you ready? There is no secret. I know that there is this algorithm that eBay uses, you know, to like push your listings and help you get sales. I don't know what it is. I don't think anybody knows what it is, but I do notice that when I list consistently, I get more sales. Personally, I don't go in and, and edit a bunch of my listings. I put them up there and I leave them like they are. Um, over time, you know, I'll kind of change the price a little bit, but I don't do it consistently trying to generate sales. I don't know that that works necessarily. You mentioned that you would like to have less items. Um, I would say get pickier in what you list and what you decide to try to resell. And that could probably help. But I can tell you that if you consistently list good items that have a good track record of selling, your sales will be good. It sounds like you might not have time to do four to five items every day. So I would say at least do one a day um, because I do believe that consistent listing helps you make sales. But just keep at it. The sales will come, you know, it, it comes and goes. I've had some weeks where I hardly sell anything and then there's weeks where I sell tons and tons of stuff. But over the years that I've done this, I can tell you that the more I list, the more I sell. So don't get too down on yourself. You're gonna have down weeks. You gotta kind of be prepared for that. And it's sometimes it's just out of your control, you know? Just do what you can control, which is sourcing good inventory, listing good inventory. And another really big thing that I think helps is shipping your stuff out on time. I think helps, you know, whatever the algorithm is. So just keep at it. I'm sure you're doing good. And I appreciate the question. We got a handful of orders going out the door today. The first is in C4. This pair of Merrill boots. These were in the bulk buy I just made in Louisville. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a board game. Right here, Consensus. New in the plastic. This was also part of that uh, bulk buy in Louisville that I made. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And let's go out to viewer named Greg. Greg, thanks for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Next thing going out is a suit. I left it hanging just because I didn't want it crumpled up in a bin for too long. I had this listed for $39.99, took a best offer of $29.99 plus shipping. I sold two soccer jerseys. The first is this one right here. Took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. And the same buyer bought another one right here. Uh, this one uh, also sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold a pair of shorts. These are Polo Ralph Lauren. I picked these up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. So the other pair of Merrill boots that were part of that bulk buy. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold a tube of eczema cream. I got a bunch of these a long time ago and they've just slowly been selling. Little by little. Um, I'm into these for like a buck each. This sold for $9.99, free shipping. Sold some light bulbs. I got this whole box at a garage sale, gosh, maybe six, nine months ago, something like that. And there was like 40 or 50 sets of lights, different colors. And I paid like $2 for the whole box. So I made some different listings for different colors uh, for lots of two and I think there was like red, green, clear, and I just sold two sets of green ones. My first sale out of these, I hope they keep selling. And they sold for $9.99 free shipping, and they're super lightweight, so they're probably gonna cost me like $2.80 to ship, something like that. Okay, somehow I missed it, but it looks like the same buyer bought two sets of red lights, and those also sold for $9.99 free shipping. There they are. I've gotten some pretty cool viewer mail this week that I want to share with you guys. Okay, the first one is from Brianna. She says, I love your videos and can't tell you how helpful they've been in helping with my own store. They're also just fun to watch and the love you have for your work shows. I started an Etsy and eBay to save for our adoption fund and it would be awesome to one day do it full time. Anyways, thanks again. I included some red stickers and some vintage Marvel stickers I have in my shop. Brianna, thank you so much. And these are really cool. So here are some of the red stickers there and then here are these marvel stickers these are, these are really cool these are all from 1990. there's the hulk silver surfer wolverine honestly i'm not sure who that is thanks brianna okay next is from nick he says dear john i'm a huge fan i've only been watching for a couple months at most but already seen most of your videos that's pretty impressive 
I sent you a handful of custom cards I would love for you to autograph for me and my friend. I also stocked some extra ones in there for yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time. Enjoy the cards. Go Giants. So we got a couple packs of vintage cards here. Here's a 93 Fullier Ultra. This is a 2007 Upper Deck. Some Looney Tunes cards. Bringing back memories when I was a kid. My dad and I collected cards like crazy. And then here's an Adam Dunn card with a, a little piece of a bat and a Barry Larkin card with a jersey. That's really cool. And check these out, guys. Nick made personalized Cincinnati Picker baseball cards. Is that not the coolest thing? So there's three different ones. <laughs> that is awesome. And they even have like stats on the back too. John, AKA Cincinnati Picker. Check out John's videos to see how he turns garage sale junk into eBay treasures. Nick, this is awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, I'm happy to sign these and return them to you. I uh, really appreciate the gesture. I never would have thought I'd have my own baseball card, so <laughs> that is super cool. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.